Good morning, class for students. Today, let us learn a new poem, Abraham Lincoln. It was written by Mildred Plew Mace. She was an American poet. She has written so many popular poems for children. In this poem, Abraham Lincoln, she talks about one of the greatest presidents of America. We know Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of America. He worked as the president of America from 1861 to 1865. Let us go through the poem. Remember he was poor and country bred. His face was lined, he walked with a guard gate. Smart people laughed at him sometimes and said, How can so very plain a man be great? Remember he was poor and country bred, which means, Remember the people he born into poverty and lived in the rural area as a poor man. His face was lined, he walked with a quad gait. Since he born into poverty and a poor family, since childhood he needed to work a lot for upbringing his family. So when he worked a lot, Automatically, his face was wrinkled. Lines were there on his face, wrinkled. He walked with awkward gait. His movements or his walking styles were not so graceful. He was not so handsome. He was, his movements were also not so graceful. And because of his poverty and because of his awkward movements and also wrinkling face, Smart people laughed at him sometimes. When smart people, wealthy people or well-dressed people, when they saw him, they laughed at him and they said themselves, How can so very plain a man be great? He was so simple, so poor man and lived in poverty continuously, always used to work and always used to go to forest for working. Such a plain man, simple man, humble man. How can such a plain man to be great like the president of America? They wondered, they said themselves. They laughed at him and said, How can so very plain a man be great? Remember, he was poor and country bred. His face was lined. He wagged with awkward gait. Smart people laughed at him sometimes and said, how can so very plain a man be great? Remember he was humble, used to toil. Strong arms he had to build a shack, a fence. Long legs to trim the woods to plow the soil. A head chuck full of backwoods common sense. Remember he was humble, used to toil. Since he was a poor man, he was so humble because he lived in the rural area among poor people and that's why he was so humble and he used to work hard for protecting his family, supporting his family members. He used to work hard. Strong arms he had since childhood he used to work and because of that he had strong hands, strong arms and he was able to build a shack or a cabin made of wood or a fence. He was able to make a fence, a shack, because he had strong arms. Long legs to trim the woods. He had long legs to trim the woods. He used to go to woods or forest to plow the soil. Always he used to go, you used to move to the forest to plow the soil. And even if he was a poor man, even though he lived in the rural area, but 
he had a head chuck full of backwards common sense which means if the problems of the poor he was well aware about the problems of the poor people since he lived in the poor area rural area and also lived in the poor family he knew about the problems of the poor people the sufferings sacrifices miseries grievances of the poor people he was well aware about all these kind of problems he was a self educated man remember he was humble used to toil strong arms he had to build a shack a fence long legs to trim the woods to plow the soil a head chuck full of backwards common sense remember all he ever had he earned he walked in time through stately white house doors but all he knew of men and life he learned in little backwoods cabins country stores remember all he ever had he earned in his life from poverty such a poor situations from such kinds of terrific circumstances abraham lincoln walked to the white house the house of the official residence of american president from such a poor situation poor circumstances abraham lincoln reached at the topmost post of america the american president and lived in white house but all he knew of men and life he learned but in his life he nothing he learned from white house but in his life lots of knowledge he acquired when he was in backwood cabins or in the rural areas when he lived in the rural areas he learned a lot of knowledge wisdom he he had the courage because he he understood the problems of the poor people miseries grievances of the poor people all those gave him too much knowledge wide knowledge about the sacrifices and sufferings of the poor people remember all he ever had he earned he walked in time through stately white house doors but all he knew of men and life he learned in little backwoods cabins country stores even though if he become the president of america but still he never forgot the ways through which he had come that's why his he whatever knowledge he earned from the rural area that helped helped him to develop a policy towards the poor sections of society for the upliftment of the poor sections of society for the well being of the poor section of society he made policies and programs remember all he ever had he earned he walked in time through stately white house doors but all he knew of men and life he learned in little backwood cabins country stores remember that his eyes could light with fun that wisdom courage set his name apart but when the rust is dewy is done done remember that men loved him for his heart the poet says that remember that his eyes could light with fun the poet says that abraham lincoln was always not so serious man he also used to enjoy fun jokes because he lived in such kind of situations that's why all even though he used to work hard since childhood he even though he used to work hard a lots of work he used to perform but still he was not always so serious always he sometimes he used to enjoy fun and jobs that wisdom courage set his name apart how abraham lincoln sub, uh, that means a different from other presidents the point is that wisdom or knowledge of abraham lincoln courage of abraham lincoln and also a mentality for, to work for the poor sections of society all these changed his changed him from other all these changed him from other american presidents when we compare abraham lincoln with other american presidents he is something different why because of his wisdom because of his courage because of his will to work for the poor sections of society but when the rust is duly said and done 
remember that men loved him for his heart after reaching after being the president of the america he started to work for the poor people of america he tried to wipe out he tried to wipe out the tears of the poor people of america he abolished slavery he worked for the well being of the poor sections of society or remote areas when he worked for the poor people the people loved him and imprinted his name in their heart they loved him a lot they supported him a lot the people who laughed at him once now clapped him the people who laughed the people who laughed at him once now supported him all the people of america loved him because of his wisdom courage and also the conscience and also the will to work for the people of america when he worked for the poor sections when he worked for the well being of the poor sections people loved him people supported him and they imprinted his name in their heart remember that his eyes could light with fun always he was not so serious he also like any other man he also enjoyed fun that wisdom courage set his name apart from other american presidents he was something different because of his wisdom courage and also he worked for the poor people but when the rust is duly said and done remember that men loved him for his heart people loved him a lot when he what when he understood the problems of the people when he tried to wipe out the tears of american people especially poor people people loved him a lot and kept his name in their heart all of you read this lines this poem clearly and try to understand the poem and study the meanings given in the textbook study well